Brenda Stern is just modeling for us today, but 10 years ago, she went through this process as part of a sleep study at Franciscan St. Francis Health. Since she also worked at the facility, she knew something was wrong. She was tired of being tired, so she made an appointment to see Dr. Charles Kinsella. Well, he uh, helped uh, me get scheduled uh, into a sleep study. And uh, once I had the sleep study done, then he was able to diagnose what the problem was, so. The problem was one Dr. Consela sees all the time. Yeah, our most uh, common uh, diagnosis is obstructive sleep apnea, where uh, as part of the process of going to sleep, the upper airway relaxes, the airway can get blocked, oxygen level drops, causes disruption to sleep, and that disease is uh, associated with increased risk for stroke, high blood pressure, other cardiovascular events. And that's why this diagnosis is so critical. If you're exhausted all the time and your partner is complaining about your snoring, you might be a good candidate for a sleep study. The study is simple and pain-free. Patients are fitted with electrodes and other monitors before they go to bed at the lab. It doesn't hurt a bit. And within moments, most patients say they forget all about the wires. This is where technologists monitor the patients throughout the night. They're looking for heart rhythm, brain waves, breathing, anything that might be cause for concern. If doctors find a problem and the patient has sleep apnea, he or she is fitted with a CPAP machine. The CPAP is something the patient will continue to wear at home every night. Brenda says her CPAP has changed her life. I do get good sleep and a lot happier. Um, uh, you feel depressed when you don't have good sleep and uh, so uh, I again felt more upbeat, felt more uh, like I had more energy. Getting a good night's sleep is critical to your energy level. It helps you be more alert, more creative. It can literally take years off your life if you're not getting a good night's sleep. So what if you don't have sleep apnea and you're still not getting that critical seven to eight hours of good sleep a night? What should you do? Doctors say don't try to figure out things when you go to bed. Make a to-do list before you turn in. Your bedroom should be cool and quiet, although some people prefer white noise when going to sleep. Don't watch television in bed. Doctors at the Franciscan St. Francis Sleep Disorder Clinic can also offer relaxation tips to help you turn off your brain before you turn in for the night. Remember, sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout your life. So if you're not sleeping well, don't rest until you get some help. Grace Trahan, Boomer TV.